Oh, hello there, Senator Walsh. I didn't see you there. I was too busy playing cards on my shift. So this is my reaction video to what Senator Walsh recently said. Make sure you keep watching. Recently, Washington State Senator Maureen Walsh said, I would submit to you those nurses probably do get breaks. They probably play cards for a considerable amount of the day. Okay, she was just saying this in response to rural hospitals being exempt from those nurses getting breaks. Why does it have to be a choice between patient care and nurses getting a break? It is disheartening and tragic how ignorant this senator is in regards to what we as nurses have to put up with. She goes on to say, well, if we have an issue with nurses getting tired, let's quit letting them do 12 hour shifts. Let's let them do eight hour shifts like most standard shifts are. Do you, how about you stop telling us what we need to do and how about everyone starts listening to what as nurses, as a profession, we are telling you. What do we need? We need better staffing. We don't want pizza parties. We don't need mugs. We don't need pens in order to help boost our sense of camaraderie and help boost scores. No, what's going to boost your patient satisfaction scores is appropriate patient staffing. There is no excuse for us to not have enough nurses on a unit. Hospitals make billions of dollars annually and what are they doing with that money? When I was working as a lifeguard, I had better working conditions as a lifeguard than I did as a nursing professional. It doesn't take rocket science to improve working conditions. When I was working as a lifeguard, we had a breaker. That breaker would come in, they would help, uh, they would give everyone on shift a decent break. So as a lifeguard, I could go on break and it was a break where I'm not worrying about anything going on or whatever, my phone wasn't ringing. As a nurse, we get a 30 minute break for a 12 hour shift. And that 30 minute break rarely are we able to take it? I, for one, was rarely able to get a 30 minute break. Why? Because when we're, when we go on break, we're supposed to give our phone to the other nurse and someone's supposed to cover our patients. But you know what? That other nurse has six other patients. So I'm going on break and now she's responsible for my six patients, giving her a total of 12 patients. That's ridiculous. What if one of her patients has an issue and needs to be changed and my patient is calling or, you know, there's, there's just too much to juggle. A nurse should not be left with 12 patients in order for someone else to go take a break. It's just, I, I cannot wrap my head around why the working conditions for a professional is so awful. As I don't understand how it's possible that as nurses, we really have such poor working conditions. There is a mass exodus of nurses in the nursing profession. Why? Because we are burned out. We are tired of being treated like second class citizens. And it doesn't matter on what floor you work on. Nurses on every floor are experiencing this. It doesn't matter if you're a med tele nurse or a med surge nurse or an ICU nurse or a PCU nurse. We are too many times given too many patients for the acuity of care. That means they are too sick and it's, there's just one of us to do everything that they want us to do. And there's a push now where they want nurses to do total patient care. So they're getting rid of phlebotomists, they're getting rid of techs, and they want us to do everything. I would not mind doing that if you're giving me three patients or two patients, but if you're giving me six patients and you expect me to do all of that and do all these tasks and all this charting and ambulate my patients and finish my charting on time, and on top of that, you would expect me to take a 30 minute break, it's not happening. It's too much work for one person. And then Senator Walsh has the audacity to say, well, if we have an issue with nurses getting tired, let's quit them doing 12 hour shifts. Let's, let's let them do eight hour shifts. Stop telling us what is good for us and listen to us. We are not telling you we want eight hour shifts. We are telling you we need better staffing. Do you know that it costs $80,000 when a nurse leaves a unit, it costs $80,000 to hire a new nurse to train her. And when she leaves, that's the amount that a hospital is losing. Hello, hire more nurses so that nurses are happier and you're not losing more, that you're not losing more nurses. 
the answer to this is not to cut down our shifts to eight hours because then we have to go five, five days out of the week with no break. It is ridiculous that as nurses, that should even be on the table about us, whether or not we get a break. Yes, patient care is first and foremost, but how effective do you think a nurse is going to be if she can't even get a 30 minute break to refuel her brain with some food? It is unexcusable. Hospitals make billions of dollars annually. Why are they not reinvesting some of that money to keep patient staffing appropriate? Appropriate patient staffing leads to better patient outcomes. So it's a win-win for everybody. How about we stop giving CEOs millions of dollars annually and let's return some of that money back into the hospital so that nurses can work safely and effectively. Thank you so much for watching. I hope as nurses we unite and we fight for better rights for us and better working conditions, not only for us, but for our patients. Thank you.